14 years, 15 years, 16 years ago, you were in the battle of your life. You were against 20 million competitors, all buying the same prize. That prize? Life. Many of your comrades went out fast, they went out hard, but they ran out of puff. And what happened? They perished. Other competitors went out slow and steady, and what happened to them? They couldn't hack it. But you, bigger, faster, stronger, you made it. That one single sperm cell met that egg. And in that process, you developed in your mother's womb. And through the process of first an embryo, then a zygote, then a baby. And the emperor of today, you, half your mother, and half your father. No one the same as you in this world. You are unique. So we know how you were created through the love of your parents. But today, we're talking about variation. And through sexual reproduction, you get constant variation within a species. So when you look around the playground, no one in year nine is the same. That is due to meiosis. In a nutshell, meiosis produces sex cells. In the case of a male, it is a sperm. In the case of a female, it is an egg. Cloning is a process of where you get an identical offspring. The only occurrence of this in humans is identical twins. G'day Mr. Coakley, you're an excellent science teacher, aren't you? So I've been told that some students think I don't know much. <laughs> hey guys, what are you talking about? We're originally talking about cloning, but I don't know where you came from. Yeah. Am I the clone or are you the clone? Or are you the clone? Or are you the original clone? So my question is to you, should humans be cloned? Make sure you justify your answer though, 